Hi, my name is Diana and I am a Canva Verified Expert. In this video, I'll show you how to evenly space elements in your designs so you can go from messy designs like this one into professional ones like this using a free feature in Canva. You can use this tidy up feature either on a desktop or a mobile device, but both will have slightly different steps. So I'm gonna show you how to use it on both of them. Let's start with the desktop version. Now, let's organize this design right here. We are going to tidy up all of these numbers that we have right here. These are very, very disorganized, as you can see. And we are going to also tidy up these lines and these numbers on the left hand side. Let's start with these three lines. All you have to do is to select the elements that you want to tidy up and then you have two different options. You can go either to the toolbar on top, select position, and then from here you have two different tabs. You have arrange and you have layers. You're going to make sure that you are under arrange and from here you are going directly to the section that says space evenly. From here, you can arrange your elements either vertically or horizontally. And then you also have the option to tidy up. I'm going to select the option that says tidy up and pay attention to the three lines. When I hit tidy up, these three lines are now evenly spaced. Now, let me show you how to select these three elements to tie them up, but without selecting the lines. In this case, because the numbers are in between the lines, every time that I try to drag my mouse, the lines get selected at the same time. So if I go to position and then click tidy up, they don't go in the place that I want them to go. So let me go back and show you. I want to select only the three numbers. I'm selecting number one and then by holding shift, I'm going to select the second number and the third number. This way, I only have the elements selected that I want to tidy up. Now, instead of going to position and using the tidy up button in here, I'm going to use a different way to find this feature. By having the elements selected, I'm going to click on the three dots, which is going to bring up this menu. And from here, you can go to space evenly and then click tidy up. And that's it. I now have my numbers evenly spaced in here. Now that I have all of this area in the design ready, let's organize all of these numbers. In here, because we have more elements to organize, we're gonna do things slightly different. If I were to select all of these numbers and then use the tidy up feature, this is what's gonna happen. As you can see, row number one and row number two are not spaced the same way as these three rows. So what should we do to organize these numbers? Let me go back to the previous version of it. And this time what I'm gonna do is to select just a few numbers. So these two rows right here, and then tidy these numbers up. So I'm going to space evenly tidy up. Now I'm going to select these three numbers here and these other three to tie them up. So basically what I'm doing here is selecting groups of elements or in this case numbers to organize them little by little. So now that I have this row organized, I'm going to select row number two and go again to space evenly tidy up. And now, as you can see, this row right here is now evenly spaced, but it's also aligned to this row here. I already have all of these numbers evenly spaced and aligned with each other, and I'm just missing row number one. So now in here, instead of selecting row number one and row number two, I'm going to do it by using smaller group of numbers. I guess what you have in mind is that you need to select all of these elements and space them evenly with the tidy up feature. But again, we have this problem here. We have all of the numbers evenly spaced, but row number one is not aligned with row number two. So 
my solution is to basically select only a few elements in this case i'm selecting only six and then i'm going to tidy them up then i'm going to select again six numbers tidy them up and finally these last six elements now row number one looks aligned to row number two but I want to double check if these numbers are spaced evenly. So I'm going to select them, go to the three dots, space evenly, and then if you see this option available, it means that they still need to be spaced evenly. So I'm going to click here, and now I have all of my numbers finally evenly spaced. And you can do again the same process by selecting all of these elements. So if you select them all, go to the three dots and go to space evenly, you will see again the tidy up feature available. So this time when you click here, you will see that the little tiny spaces that were not even are going to be realigned and your numbers are going to look very professional this time. And before we move on and I show you how to use this feature on mobile, I just wanted to know if you learned something new here today and if you did and you want to keep learning with us, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Also let me know if you use Canva mostly on desktop or mobile. Now let's continue with the mobile version of the tidy up feature. Now, from mobile, these steps are going to be slightly different because from mobile, we cannot drag and select several items at the same time. So what we need to do is to go closer to the elements that we want to arrange, and then we are going to select one of the elements. In this case, I'm going to start with the lines. So I'm selecting this element, then I'm going to select these three dots, which is going to open a little window at the bottom of the screen. You then need to select this option that says select multiple, and then this will give you access to select more than one element. If you're having trouble selecting your items, make sure to zoom in to go closer in detail and be able to select them all. Once you have selected your elements, you are going to close this little window and then from here go to the option that says position. Tap here and then go to spacing. This is where you'll find the tidy up button. Now I'm going to follow the same process to tidy these numbers up. So I'm selecting number one and then I'm going to select multiple and I'm going to zoom in here to make sure that I'm able to select number two and then number three. Closing this window, going to position, spacing, and then tidy up. Now I have this section of the design ready and we need to organize this section right here. Let me come closer. I'm going to start by selecting one of the numbers, go to the three dots, select multiple, and I'm going to select all of these numbers here. Then closing this window here, go to position, spacing, tidy up. Now I'm going to follow the same process for this group of numbers. I'm going to do it as well for row number two, and then I'll do the small group technique to align row number one with row number two. So I'm gonna go faster here. So selecting this number here, the three dots, select multiple, then select a small group of elements, position, spacing and tidy up. Here we go. Now I'm going to continue until I have aligned these numbers here. As you can see, we have exactly the same outcome. You can create very professional designs from desktop and also from mobile. I do have to say that from mobile, it took me just a little while more because I needed to select every single element. And if I missed one of the elements and I touched the background, I had to start over again with the selection of elements. But this is not a huge problem. You just need to work on your patience if you are working only from a mobile device. 
And before we finish, I want to show you something pretty cool if you are learning how to use Canva. If at any point you have a Canva related question while designing, you now have our tutorials available inside Canva ready to solve your doubts. You then can follow a tutorial without leaving Canva. How cool is that? I'm gonna leave a link in here so you can try our Canva app and I'm also going to leave a video here so you can learn more about our membership where we have perks and exclusive educational content. I think that's it for this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!